Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC. We're here at ISC 2016 in Frankfurt, Germany, and today we're at the NVIDIA booth with Mark Hamilton. How are you doing, sir? Pretty good. Great to see you, Red. You know, Mark, just the other day you and I were talking about strong scaling, and I see we have a box here that's supposed to really excel at that. What is it? Right, so this is our DGX1 Deep Learning Supercomputer. It's really designed for strong scaling GPU applications. And in fact, when Andrew Ng was here at the show giving the keynote yesterday, he said about how hard it was to build a strong scaling server. So some of the key features of this that really enable it is we start with, of course, our most powerful B100 GPU. And you see there's eight of these in the box. And traditionally, these would have been only connected with a PCIe interconnect. Now, of course, since this is a standard x86 server, it has a PCIe interconnect that connects us. But we add to that NVLink. NVLink is our new high-speed interface that connects all of these servers and provides the strong scaling capability. Okay, okay. So, so why would NVIDIA, who makes GPUs, why would they suddenly build a server? Why was this? What, what's up? Well, this isn't actually our first server, right? Our first device. We introduced last year at GTC, we introduced our Digits Dev Box, right? And at the time, with four of our fastest GPUs, we were able to train the AlexNet deep neural network in 23 hours. And that was a huge win because that really enabled a data scientist, instead of having to wait a week or a couple of weeks, to get the results overnight. And since those data scientists started using that, they said, we want something faster, right? And that's why we built this box. We expect that by Q1 of next year, all of the major OEMs will be shipping NVLink-based servers similar to this with four or eight GPUs. But of course, because we designed the NVLink technology, it was easiest for us to get the server out immediately as a test platform. Finally, it was a test platform for our software. One of the key things we do is we provide NVIDIA optimized versions of all of the favorite deep learning frameworks, CAFE, TensorFlow, CNTK, and we make them available uh, through a secure portal via Docker containers. So it's very easy for the data scientists, buy the box, plug it in, go to our, our portal and download a Docker container and be off and running. So let's double click a little bit, Mark, on uh, when you have NVLink enabled like this, you're able to share memory and things and move data around very quickly. Is, is that the main advantage for things like deep learning? Absolutely. Yeah. So with, with um, the Pascal P100, we introduced a software feature called the Page Migration Engine. So we've had unified memory, or CUDA programmers will know, for several years since CUDA 6. But with now the new CUDA 8 release and the Page Migration Engine, you can not only access all of the GPU memory, but a programmer can access all of the memory across all eight GPUs, as well as all of the memory on the main two CPUs, up to 128 terabytes of memory. Now, we only managed to fit 512 gigabytes of memory in this server, but other, other OEMs will make servers with more memory, and we wanted that headroom. So, if, if we talk about strong scaling, but uh, what about, you could feasibly fill up racks and racks of this and, and do a, a really serious supercomputer, couldn't you? Absolutely. Yeah. So there's two things that we really did to enable that. One is with all the power here, you need a lot of uh, network interconnect. So we actually built into the box four EDR InfiniBand interfaces. One, two, three, four. So 400 gigabits a second of bandwidth primarily to be used as a cluster interconnect. Plus, of course, to connect to your file system, we have two 10 gig ethernet ports on it. Now, of course, when all that data comes over from the file system, you want the GPUs to have very, very fast access to that locally. So we built in um, 7.2 terabytes of SSD, four 1.9 gigabyte SSDs in the box that act as a file system cache and cache the data so it's available immediately to the GPUs as you're training your deep neural network. Oh, great, so, so Mark, I guess uh, we've been here a couple days now at ISC. What's your feeling, what, what's the uptake on this? I mean, what, what are people uh, saying about the new P100 and the Pascal architecture? 
Well, you know, this, since we announced this, we've had uh, customers from all over the world order it. It's had some great reception. It's been across many industries, not only your typical sort of uh, hyperscale companies, but we've had universities, governments, automotive companies, um, let me try to think, you know, financial service companies, a wide reception of this. But even so, right, this is a specialized box, right? And a lot of companies have data centers full of Dell or HP servers, and they wanted that P100 technology to bring out to all of those servers. And so that's what our new PCIe-based version of the P100 does. It brings out the P100 technology to the widest possible market. Yeah, and, and with that, they can just plug those new GPUs into the PCIe with Absolutely. their existing setup. It works with all the existing PCIe-based servers. Anything that fit one of our previous GPUs, you'll be able to plug in the new Pascal P100.